What's going on everybody? Today I'm back with another Fallout 4 video and I'll be taking a look at the locations of all the Mila devices that are needed to be placed to complete Tinker Tom's Weather Vane missions. And there are a few of these, it seems like it's never going to end, but eventually he does run out of places for you to place them. So the first one we're going to be taking a look at was the Broken Monorail. So what you need to do first is you want to head over to the Haymarket Mall. This was a little tricky to figure out exactly where to go because the waypoint didn't exactly put you into this building. So you want to head into the Haymarket Mall. When you go in there, there's going to be a ton of raiders around. You're going to want to go up the staircase that's straight in front of you, make an immediate right, go down the hallway, and then head to the elevator. When you get out of the elevator, you're going to want to continue through the rooms and eventually you'll get to a room where part of the ceiling has collapsed and you can actually walk up it like a ramp. This will get you to a door that leads you to the courtyard on top of the building. Head out here and you'll see the monorail track in the distance. Problem is, you're going to be faced with a death claw. I don't know if it's always a legendary death claw, but I was faced with a legendary death claw. Now I lucked out. Deacon was my companion at the time, and he picked up a missile launcher from one of the raiders in the building, so he was able to help me quickly defeat this death claw. So once the death claw is taken care of, you can head to the edge of the building, walk down some scaffolding, and then you'll find some planks of wood leading you into the monorail that's hanging off of the tracks. Just make your way up through the cars on the monorail, and you'll see the location for the Mila device sitting on the left side. Next up, we'll have the Corvega assembly plant location. What you're going to want to do here is head through the main entrance, and straight in front of you, you'll see a set of blue double doors. You want to go through those doors, continue on through the rooms. There's really only one path, and you'll get to the final room where there's a broken door. You want to open that up, continue down the hallway, and you'll, you'll head down a set of stairs, and you'll find an arrow on the wall telling you to head back up another set of stairs. So you're going to climb up these stairs, continue up as high as you can go, and eventually you're going to get into the main assembly plant area. Once you're in here, there's a door that, that can lead you back out to the commonwealth. So head out this door, down the ramp, and you want to head to the large staircase straight in front of you. So you're going to go up this staircase, head into the building that's kind of like some offices or something like that, and there's a small bridge that goes from one side of the building to the other. So you want to go across that bridge, continue on and you want to head up the large staircase that's going to then be right in front of you once you've made it to the other side of the building. So you go up the large staircase, make an immediate left and then you're going to see another set of stairs and you want to start climbing. You need to get a, you're going to need to get all the way up to the top of this. It's either a smokestack or some sort of or reservoir of some sort. I'm not exactly sure, but continue on the scaffolding all the way around and you will find a location to place the next Mila device. For part 3 we need to head to the Commonwealth Bank. What you want to do here is head towards Faneuil Hall. When you're facing the front of Faneuil Hall you want to walk along the right side of the building and you'll see a door in the alleyway. Get through this door and you'll actually get towards the back entrance of the bank. Once you get to the back entrance of the bank you want to take the elevator up. The elevator lets you out probably about midway up the building. So you want to leave this elevator and just jump into the elevator right next to it. It'll be on your left if you're walking straight out of the elevator. So you take this elevator, it'll take you to the top level of the building, and from here you can gain access to the rooftop. Open the door, get to the rooftop, and the location for this next Mila device will be right in front of you. Next up, we're going to head to the Mass Bay Medical Center. Now, as soon as you get into this place, you're going to be faced with some gunners and also an assault tron. So make sure you're ready with some weaponry and you're going to take all these enemies out. You want to make your way up to the fourth floor by first heading up the staircase to your left and continuing on the path I'm showing here. Once you get to the fourth floor, you'll get into an elevator and that'll take you probably again about halfway up the building. Here, you're going to, be, you're going to open up into a, a large room and you're going to be faced with a few more gunners. Now one actually jumps into some power armor, but if you're quick you could probably take him out before he does this. I was not quick enough so I had to take this guy down while he was in his suit of power armor. From there you want to continue climbing up the floors and get to the next elevator. You got to go from room to room, traveling up some fallen debris just to make your way up to the next level. Once you get to this final elevator it will take you up to the rooftop and the Mila location will be behind you to your left.
Up next, we're heading to the Boston Bugle. This one's pretty easy to get to, just one enemy you have to be aware of. So, head in the door, walk across the room, head into the elevator. Now, as soon as the elevator opens up, you're going to want to watch out for this Protectron Guardian. He's a little stronger, but take him out. Head over to the door to the right of the elevator, and this will take you to the rooftop. The location for this next Mila device will be to the right side. Camp Kendall is going to be the next location we're going to travel to. This place is a good sized raider settlement. You're going to have to take a bunch of raiders out to easily get access to the rooftops where the next Mila device goes. Once you clear out a few of the raiders, you want to, you want to head straight across from where you first entered this location and go up some scaffolding. This will take you into a building. You just want to cross through the building, up the ladder to the left, and onto the roof. From here you want to walk across to the larger building where the smokestack is. Then you have to jump into the small elevator or tram that's going to take you to the largest building in the settlement. Once you get over here, work your way to the top and you'll find a location for the Mula device in the Camp Kendall settlement. In the next part of this mission, we're going to head to the Cambridge construction site. This is an unfinished building that's really just a steel frame and a whole bunch of plywood for some floors. What you need to do here is climb up to the very top of this construction site. And you can't use the elevators, nothing of that's working. You gotta go floor by floor just up the stairs and collapsed floors to continue on to the top of the building. This place is loaded with super mutants. There are also some legendary ones, so you gotta be able to take them out to get to the top of this location. Once you make it up the final staircase, the location for the Mila device will be straight in front of you. Next up for this weather vane mission is the four leaf fish packing plant. This one is again pretty simple. You just want to head to the right side of the building and walk up the large set of steel steps. You know, go all the way up, follow it to the roof. From here you want to continue walking up the steps and you're going to see two small rooms at the top of this building. You want to go behind both of these in the far corner and back here you'll find the next place where you want to set up another Mila device. Next up we're going to head to Hub 360. For this you want to enter the building on the ground floor and as soon as you walk in, you'll see a staircase. Walk up the staircase and there will be elevators right in front of you. Take the elevator up to the next part of the building and this room will have a whole bunch of debris and junk in a pile right in the center. So you actually want to walk up this junk and then there's a small path that just follow that all the way up and you'll see the next elevator. Now this elevator will take you all the way up to the roof. Once you reach the roof, there's one more super mutant up here. So take it out and place your next Mila device. Last up, we're going to head to the Parkview Apartments. What you want to do when you enter this building is walk up the small staircase and head to the left. Continue up the large staircase all the way to the top floor, and you will eventually get to a door which will lead you out to the roof. Once on the roof, you want to continue on to the highest part of the roof, and once you get there, look off to the right side, and this is the final location where you need to place a Mila device. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and it made it a little easier to find all the locations to place the Mila devices. If you guys want to see some more Fallout content, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.